They came to me in midnight rain, during the hour of mournful madness. I had read too deeply into the book and could not tear myself away. I don't know for how many days and nights I sat there, in the darkness of my study, gazing at the arcane alphabet with which the words had been composed. When I closed my eyes the words were still before me. I could taste them in my mind. My twitching lips trembled to speak the words aloud. I thought that I could hear the wind whisper those nameless words from some place outside my window. No, no, it was not the wind. Rather, it was my hot mouth that uttered chilly, arcane language. I whispered, looking out the huge window into black heaven, and saw the dark-winged things that flowed from celestial shadow toward me. I watched the window's glass melt at their approach, like dripping shaggy things that had been pent in gloom, and now released by my syllables, they oozed into the room, the wet flapping of their wings beating in rhythm to my frenzied chanting. Smoothly they drifted to me, gently they brushed with shapeless paws my face and hair. They leaned their amorphous faces toward my own, and listened intently to my living language. They brought to their mouths their strange flute instruments. The room was filled with intoxicating sound. It was a music that sounded familiar, like something I had heard in recent reverie. I opened my mouth and sang verses from the book in tune to the melodic air that stained the silence of the room. Looking once more at the book, my shining eyes adored the black syllables etched into ancient parchment. When at last I blinked and raised my head, I saw the dying sunset flame heaven with supernal crimson. The final sight, reflected on my liquid eyes, was the purple of evening engulfed by swirling storm. The winged creatures played more frantically their fantastic notes. I gazed at the approaching storm, and saw the face of eternal doom, a face composed of congeries of iridescent globes. Ah, my eyes! How they boiled! The book is before me. I can smell the wormy pages whereon the words are found. Those signals that reach beyond the void to where the one in all pulses in eternal corruption. As these plucked eyes stain my palms, I sense the tintamare of bestial wings. I hear unthinkable voices speak my name above the storm. Yugoth damns my puny soul. I stagger to my feet and scream to obscurity the unhallowed name. Shapeless paws grip under my arms and lift me upward. I limp beyond reason, to that place where lives no masquerade of human hope. 